Not many 22-year-olds are willing to leave home for the better part of a year to embark on a journey millions of miles away. In 2013, that is just what Carrie Williamson did. Williamson is a native of Barberville, Kentucky. In September 2013, she left her small town in search of a higher calling, service. Williamson embarked on an 11-month journey called the World Race, which was part of an organization called Adventures in Missions. Adventures in Missions is an organization which focuses on discipleship and relationship through service. The organization itself offers up many mission trips to many different age groups. Their goal is to spread the gospel while also caring for those less fortunate. The particular trip Carrie embarked on took her to China, Thailand, Cambodia, Malaysia, Japan, Albania, Serbia, Romania, the Ukraine, Swaziland, and South Africa. Carrie met many people whom she still thinks about to this day. One of her favorite memories involved an organization called Remember New, which she worked with while her group was in Thailand. Founded by a man named Carl Ralston, Remember New was started to help children who are at risk of being sold into sex slavery as a result of their family's poverty. The organization pays for shelter and education of these children entirely through donations. New was the name of a young girl who was sold into sex slavery six times by her own grandmother. Carl Ralston, while at a conference in Cambodia, heard New's story and decided to fund a project building homes and starting an education system for kids similar to New so that one day they might have a bright future. The children are taught valuable trades they can use so they won't ever have to worry about being sold into slavery for lack of money. Carrie learned while on her trip that the sex trade is a huge industry in many impoverished countries. The culture in many of these countries emphasizes the importance of collectivism rather than individualism, so children may be sold into sex slavery by their own family members if there are no other options. The focus of Remember New is to give hope to these children and their families. While on the world race, Carrie and her group helped build a boys' home through the program to shelter boys who are at risk of being sold into sex slavery. Her group also helped build a garden at one of the homes and frequently taught English to the kids. Williamson remarked that in America, we tend to turn away from these issues, but being so close to the children who are inches away from being sold into sex slavery really opened her eyes. Education is her main passion, and she wants to use her passion to educate children, so eventually no child will ever have to be sold into slavery again. Carrie is majoring in English and Education at Union College and will graduate in December 2016. This summer, she plans to teach English to children who have been rescued from the sex trade in Nepal. Although many of the people Carrie encountered while on the world race were impoverished and came from very grim circumstances, she said she was glad to have gotten to see the hopeful side of the situation and wants to spread that hope to others.